I've been street preaching for about 41 years and I was street preaching just the other day but in the 80s I was down in Brighton Beach and a man came up to me one day and he said I have a book I want to give you and you know what this was the Lord's reward because this is a very precious book it is so old that the pages are literally falling apart. This is an ancient Maxor, and it's more than a few hundred years old because it goes all the way back, probably to the second century, maybe even the first century. And it has a phrase in it, which is in several of the prayer books. And the phrase is, Yeshua Sar Hapanim. Yeshua, the Prince of the Face. And you know, Yaakov was wrestling. You can read about this in uh, Bereshus, Genesis chapter uh, 32, verse 30. And when you come to this verse, says, Yaakov asked him and said, Tell me now, Shemecha, your name. And he said, Why is it that thou dost ask after Shemi, my name? And he made a brocha upon him there. And Yaakov called the Shem of the Makom, the place, Peniel face of God. For I have seen Elohim Panim El Panim and my nephesh is saved. Yeshua said in chapter 14 of Yohanan So long a time with you I am and you have not had das of me, Philippos. The one having seen me has seen Elohim Ha'av. And here are some references, including Isaiah 9, 5. Uh, there's also this reference here. Yohan in chapter 1. No one has ever seen Hashem. It is Elohim Haben Yahid. It says, It is he, the one being in the Hek bosom of, of Elohim Ha'av. This one is Hashem's definitive Midrash. So, if you would go to Google and just Google Orthodox Jewish Maxor M-A-H-Z-O-R you will see our website you click on that and you will see this download free the Maxor Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippurim, Kamin Hag Sefarad, New York, Hebrew Publishing Company. Here you will get your own Xerox of this ancient book in my metal firebox. And you'll be able to go to the page where it says, Yeshua Sar Hapanim. And you'll be able to see this. It's also on page 1227 in the Orthodox Jewish Bible. If you will just go to afii.org forward slash ojb.pdf. 
The other thing I wanted to show you here, and these are wonderful blessings that God has given to me. If you go to our website, afii.org, and you click on Ribi Melik Hamoshiach, if you just click on this one little link right here, you will see that it says, Amishihit Kit Kodesh, with the translation of the Chacham Professor Franz Delich. And here you have a PDF of the Hebrew Tanakh and the Delich translation. This is extremely important. And uh, I'm hoping right now, friend, that uh, you will see how God has blessed me going out into the highways and byways and compelling people to come in, preaching in the open air like Rob Shoal did in Athens. This is what we're talking about. And one more time, I want to show you this treasure that God gave me. You see how old this book is? It goes back hundreds of years, though. Much older than this particular edition. But this edition is published by the Hebrew Publishing Company in the Lower East Side, 1900. So that makes it a 120-year-old book. But we're going back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, almost a couple of thousands of years. This is very old. The Sar Hapanim. I'm trying to show you, have you been with me so long and you still don't know me? He who has seen me has seen Elohim Ha'av. The Moshiach ben Dovid, the, the Bar Enosh, the one who has various entrances in the Tanakh, where it's not just an angel. No, it's far more than an angel. Because the manifestation is actually called God. Notice, he comes into Abraham's tent in Baratheus chapter 18. He sits and he eats with Abraham. He's in a body, he's eating. But Abraham knows it is Hashem. That this is some kind of manifestation of the divine presence with him. Why is it so hard to believe that the Bar Enosh could take on flesh, meet Gashem in, a, in the womb of Ha'alma Betula and then when Yohanan looks into the Kever he sees the it's an effort, very neatly folded up and set aside like someone getting out of bed and folding up their pajamas. Then he sees the shroud, uh, the takrihim. It seems, the way he describes it, almost like a deflated balloon. It's, it doesn't look like someone has torn at it to, to extract a dead body as a grave robber would do. But he dematerialized, then materialized outside the wrappings and, and folded up the head wrapping. Then he materialized on the road to Emmaus. Then at the breaking of the Matzot, 
when the Yahatz occurs, he dematerializes. This is Luke chapter 24. Then in the upper room, he materializes. In the uh, locked room with the, the Shalahim. Of course, Yehuda is not there from Kyrios. Uh, I should say from uh, Judas Iscariot. He's not there. Uh, neither is Thomas. But the others are there. What we have seen with our eyes, what our, what our gaze has, has gazed at, what we have examined with our hands, this is what we declare to you. The word of Chaye Olam, the word of life, who was with us, the Moshiach ben David. This is what it says in the first chapter of Yohanan, the epistle, the first epistle. So, as a street preacher of 40 years, God gave me a wonderful blessing. And I've shared it with you. And now you can have your own PDF copy. Go to AFII.org and see all the treasures that the Lord has for you there. And ask the greatest treasure to come into your heart. The Ma'amar Memra. The Logos. The Devar Hashem. The word that was with God. The word that was Elohut the Amon at his side. Hallelujah, whom he always possessed as a craftsman working with him. When he threw the stars into the sky, the Hokmah was there, the Son of God, the Zun from the Proverbs 30, verse 4, Proverbs 8, verse uh, 22, and Proverbs 8, verse 30. Amen.